I thought we'd just come down and see the overflowing waters of Bob Cajun. So you can see the water's pretty high. And we're gonna see if we've got some ice coming down the down the system. I don't know if you can see on the surface of that water, but it is moving quite quickly. And if you look down there between the, uh, the boards, so you'll see that there's about a foot drop off between this side of the dam and the other side. And you can see that another foot or so and those cottages will be underwater. Oh yes, the power of the water. Pretty good. Now right there where that little pole is sticking up, there's a the dock there. Completely underwater now. Anyway, the dock seems to be enjoying it. at the water's edge restaurant and this at the water's edge this year look at the water oh my goodness we still have ice on the lake we had a minus nine last night uh, let me see it is April the 16th today this is actually the record for the latest day that the ice has ever left the lakes up here and everyone is surprised. I bet you there is still a good foot of ice out on the lakes there. So what I'm concerned about this year is uh, ice jamming. Because uh, if the ice starts breaking up in a hurry and uh, coming down and getting stuck under the dams, boy oh boy, we are going to be having some problems. Yeah, a couple of propane tanks there are looking like they're very close to floating away. And as we pan around here, you can see that the water is right up and inside the boathouses. Yeah, let's take a little look at this. Look, look at that. Right up to the edge. There is water in that cabin, no doubt about it. And the ospreys are back. There you go. hard to handle that zoom I'm afraid, sorry for that. Anyway, there they are on the nest. Osprey's never here until the ice is off the lake. Now as you can see off in the distance, look at that, that is white ice. That means that it's nowhere near going yet, some of it has gone out. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a while before that ice goes. So here we are at the Misquai Zaibi River, uh, it used to be called the Squaw River when I first came up here and this uh, little body of water, this is a trickling stream, it is barely wider, not even as wide as this bridge in the summertime and you can see she's raising pretty good at the banks. Yeah, this is all dry in the summertime, as you can see where the trees are, in fact. So it won't take long. If we have some good rain, by golly, you're going to see some flooding this year.
Well, here we are in Bacholm. Beautiful, beautiful Bacholm. Here we are down at the dam. I'm going to take a little walk across this dam in a second. As you can see these waters are moving pretty quickly. 